Welcome back to another episode of Daily Fortnite, your daily podcast about Fortnite. I'm your host, Mikey, a.k.a. Mike Daddy, a.k.a. Magnificent Mikey. And you know what? Uh, again, not a lot of new news to talk about today. We obviously just this week had a big, huge uh season change and chapter change uh so we're still working off of all of that uh but uh, of course uh, we do have again uh, something i'm really excited about this season is that we have actual quests back uh, you know actually something to do uh tasks to do with these challenges and uh the next one we're going to talk about is receive your next objective at the launch pad okay for this one uh fairly simple oops uh you are going to go to uh you know we talked about going to uh getting one of the objectives from the foundation uh statue uh this is in the same area just to the northeast of that is the launch pad this is again from chapter one where uh, when uh we had the missile launch uh, event so uh, yeah you're just gonna go here and uh, that's uh, that's the launch pad they're talking about so that's where you're gonna go to get that challenge done uh, again really excited to have real actual challenges back this season and uh, a good leveling system this season it's just making this uh, season uh, and chapter so much more fun than last season in my opinion uh you know to start out i mean eventually they got there with uh chapter two season eight but it took them a while before they uh got it back into a good place we're starting off in a good place here with chapter three season one and uh, i'm really uh, excited about it okay uh so there is a challenge tip let's go ahead and take a look at what we have going on in the ltms today uh, looks like we have, uh, let's look at the uh, most popular section. We have Tilted Zone Wars XA, uh, BHE 1v1 Build Fights, Bios Zone Wars Custom Trio, Team Rumble, The Pit Free For All, Battle Lab, uh, FFA Box Fight and Zone Wars A Lawless Guy, and a Panville Box Fight to be 2 ranked. And of course, there's a whole lot more to be discovered in that Discover tab. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, head on over to the item shop and see what it is that we have going on in here today. You know what? Of course, it is the beginning of the season uh, and uh, they have that battle pass uh, 25 levels uh, that you can uh bump up if you want to that they uh keep uh reminding you that is there so if you really want to level up uh really fast there is that 25 level boost uh we still have the tis the season section so all the holiday uh and christmas outfits uh still here the jordan brand stuff still here we have the slumberjack outfit for 1200 the renegade outfit for 800 i know that's a lot of people's favorites uh, the Russian Around emote for 500. The Pumpernickel emote for 500. The Shanty for a Squad emote for 500. This is one of my favorite emotes just because, uh, you know, I, I love being able to uh, do this one with other people and uh, have the, uh, the harmony when you have uh, all four parts. Grab your squad quick on the run. Let's take our dub and go. Uh, we got the T-Pose emote. That's, you know, a, a certainly a classic. Uh, we have the Two Meowsles bundle, which has Two Meowsles, Tuna Can, Back Bling, Ten Ton, Tune Bells, Harvesting Tool, Drop-In, Music, the Fantastic Cat loading screen, and the Squash and Stretch uh, emote, built-in emote. Uh, this is for 2400 You can get them separately, of course. The Toon Meowsles outfit with the Tuna Can back bling and the Squash and Stretch emote is 1,400. The 10 tune, the 10 ton Toon Bells harvesting tool is 800. The drop in music is 200. We have the Chugga Chugga emote for 600. 
let's see we got uh the tinsel toes outfit for 800 why is everything uh, at an angle now in the item shop that's very interesting okay uh the candy cane wrap for 300 the red nosed raider outfit for 1200 i'm going to back out and see if this no everything is still sideways <laughs> okay let's try this one more time to see no everything's still sideways okay the red nosed ranger outfit is 800 the dolph outfit with the uh bow breaker bow breaker back bling for 1200 the red knight outfit with the red shield back bling for 2000 the crimson axe harvesting tool for 800 and that looks like everything today you can get any and all of these items using code mikey m m m i k i e in the item shop and some of the proceeds will go to help support the show all right so for today's tip of the day we're going to get it right from our community tips and tricks section uh in the discord dooski put this one up there and he just wanted to let everybody know how op the tents really are this season uh we talked to him about it a little bit when we talked about the update when we were going over the patch notes uh you know and he was saying uh that you can we know uh, just from the details that you can store your items in the tent, right? And it's going to carry you over. It's going to carry it over to the next match for you. So you can get some really good items. And before the match ends, uh, you know, say you have, uh, so say you have a really good loadout and you, you just know that you're about to beat the, your opponent so you can throw one or two of those weapons into your tent and uh, have them all ready to go for the next match when you uh, find and uh, throw down a tent when the next match starts which is you know pretty easy to do because in my experience so far playing the little bit i have i'm having no problem finding tents they're all over the place <laughs> so uh it's pretty easy to uh, get a hold of the, the loot that you stashed away. And uh, one of the points that Dusky made in there is it's not just, uh, you know, you know, your regular weapons, but you can also uh, stash, uh, you know, like the, the, the mythic weapons that are uh, in the game. Okay, so if you get, like he said, for instance, if you get a Foundations uh, MK7, you can stash that in there and have that ready to go, ready for you right at the beginning of the next match. You buy any of those exotic weapons from uh, any of the other NPCs and stash in the tent, boom, you, you paid for it once and then you got it stashed away next for you for the next match. Uh, just say that you got some really good gold or purple weapons of whatever uh whatever kind of weapon it is you want to throw that in a tent and have it ready to go for the next match uh that way you start the match off with a really good loadout and like i said it's only it's only a hundred gold to uh get an extra slot in the tent as well i mean you can like he said the two that there's two free slots in your tent but you can get that third for a hundred gold and right there that's three weapons, uh, you know, or three items that you really need for your next match. It's like, say, uh, you are you have a whole bunch of extra shields. Boom, you're going to throw that in your tent, and you have a bunch of shields to start off your next match. You have, uh, you know, again, like I said, if you got some purple or gold weapons, you throw that in the tent, and you got purple and gold weapons to start right from the beginning of your next match, which is going to give you a big advantage throughout that match uh, on uh, coming up with the win. So really take advantage of the tents while we have them because they are really going to help you get a ton of wins this season, I think. All right, that's going to be the episode for today. Make sure you go join the Daily Fortnite Discord and hang out with us. Follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Head over to Apple Podcasts, leave a five-star rating and a written review for a shout-out on the show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And until next time, have fun, be safe, and don't get lost in the storm.